Hello and welcome to how to format an MLA paper. This is going to be done in Microsoft Word 2013. So if your program looks a little different, that's okay. The basics are the same and the formatting is the same. So MLA formatting is very particular the way that it wants things set up. So before we type anything, we want to make sure the page layout is set correctly. Page layout, click on it, click on margins we want to make sure that we are one inch all the way around so to do that we just click on this boom our margins are now set to be one inch on each side that is MLA formatting next thing to do is to change the font so the font for MLA formatting needs to be Times New Roman size 12 and if you want to make yourself have an easier life at this point in time maybe click on this little button over here and see how it's Times New Roman, regular, size 12. Maybe set that as default, oh, for all the documents in the normal template. If you're going to be doing a lot of papers for school, that will make sure it just automatically sets it up. Yay. Next thing to do is set up the spacing in the paragraph. So how to do that fairly easily is under next to paragraph here, there's a little button. If you click on the button, it'll bring up the paragraph settings. Everything in MLA formatting is double spaced. Double spaced. So put that in double spaced. Now note, if you have fallen asleep at this point in time, wake up and pay attention. Microsoft Word has this feature. Don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. See how that is unchecked? That is bad. You need to have a check mark there. If you do not have a check mark there, it will add a space between paragraphs. And again, everything in MLA formatting is double spaced. If you do not have this check mark here, that means you'll have gaps between your paragraphs. That is bad. It is not MLA formatting. And boo. So make sure you have a check mark there. Okay. So again, first thing we did was we set up page layout. Margins were one inch. That's good. Make sure our font is correct. Very good. Make sure our paragraphs are set for double. And we have the check mark. Very good. Now we need to set the header. The header is up top where you can't normally type. So if you double click at the top of the page, boop, boop. It'll open up the header section. You'll notice a new tab opened up. Before we start typing up here, though, let's go back to the Home button. Make sure that things are, again, Times New Roman 12. It is. That's good. Sometimes when people click on the header, it changes the font. I don't know why. It just does. So now we're going to go back to the Design tab. Oop. Okay. We need to put the page number in. So click on Page Number. It's at the top of the page. And it's going to be this one here all the way to the right. Don't use any funky ones. Don't look, oh, I'm going to impress them. But no, don't do that. Let's do this one. Okay, then you'll see that it added the page number. Then you're going to type in your last name and then hit space. So make sure there is your last name, a space, and then the page number. Also make sure that is Times New Roman 12. Double check that right here, right now. Is that Times New Roman 12? Again, this is a fairly common problem with students. They have different fonts up there. I don't know why, but they do. So make sure that's the case. When we're done with the header, which we are, we're going to double click down here below it. Cool. Now the next thing we're going to type in on the top of the page is my name. Or the student's name, it'll be your name. Then I hit the enter button, then you're going to put in your teacher's name. Professor Brown. Make sure you use their title, don't just put Jim's Brown, Jim Brown or you know Maggie Brown or something like that. Make sure you use their title, it helps indicate they are the teacher. Then the next thing, I'm going to hit enter, and then type in which class this is for, English 110. And if you want to make your teacher happy, put in which section number you're in. Yes. Then also put in the enter button again. Next thing is the date. Now the date needs to be done a particular way according to MLA formatting. It is day, space, then type out the name of the month, and then type the year. So it is day, month, year, no commas. No commas. Don't put 4 slash 7 slash 16. That is wrong. That is not MLA formatting. Why? I don't know. I did not make up MLA formatting. I'm just showing you how to do it. So make sure the date is in that format. Next, we're going to put the title in. So I'm going to hit Enter. Now the title is centered. It is not bolded. It is not underlined. It is not in quotation marks. It is just typed. Also, all the words are capitalized except for extremely common words like a, uh, an, the of unless it starts the sentence. So um, we'll call this uh, example of or ma 
hari uh, paper in MLA style. Okay, yeah, I know, that's weird. Okay, but examples, capitalized is the first word. Of is extremely common, so we're not going to capitalize that. Formatting uh, is not very common, so we capitalize that. Uh is very common. Paper is not very common. In is very common. MLA, and then style. I know. Yeah, don't ask. Just do it. Okay. Um, next, we're going to go to the next line. Hit enter. Now we're going to start writing the paper. So we hit a line left to get back over here. Then hit the tab button. Whoop. Now you're going to start writing. This is the first line of the first paragraph. Okay, notice here that we, this is not the same. So this is the one inch margin here, okay, we indented it. Okay, so let's say I keep, we keep typing here. You get bonus points if you can pronounce what I'm typing. And we're just typing along. Man, we're awesome writers. Look how good we are. Woo! A plus in this paper. Okay, typing, typing. Okay, so I finished my sentence. Now I want to go to my next paragraph. Hit enter. Now, sometimes it'll automatically tab it over, sometimes it's not, but make sure it is indented. This is the first line of the second paragraph. Okay. Now, notice, actually, let me add a few, little more, some more text up here. The reason why I want to do this is that you'll notice everything here is double spaced. The gap here between here and 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 here. This is all double spaced. There's no extra spaces. Remember that little button I showed you earlier on? So what happens if I hadn't done that? So let me go up here and uncheck that box just to show you what it would look like. Okay. This gap here, see this? Between here and here, that is not the same as here and here. Boo! See the gap between here and here? That is too big. Why? Because it's adding that extra space. We've ended this paragraph, we went to the next paragraph. See the gap between here and here? That is too big. That is bad. That's what happens if you don't have that box checked. So again, if we have that box checked, it makes everything double spaced. There you go. That is how you set up MLA formatting. Now actually, try to follow the directions and you can do well. All right.